There are certain people in this world that the Stoics advised us to not associate with. These people can seriously cause harm in your life and weigh you down. In this video today, we will list 15 types of people Stoicism warns us about. Also, if you notice there are people in your life right now, demonstrating these behaviors remove these people, form your life immediately. Before we start this video, I would like to say thank you for watching and don't forget to like. And if you are watching this and not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for more life. Changing Stoic Content Type of People To Avoid Number 1 The Flatterer is a tricky type of person that Stoics tell us to watch out for. They're the ones who shower us with compliments, but not because they really mean it. Instead, they want something from us. Stoics say we should be careful of flatterers and see past their fake praise. While a genuine compliment is nice, too much praise that feels exaggerated usually has an ulterior motive. The flatterer might be trying to get something from us, like a favor, power, or just to boost their own ego. So, it's important not to get tricked by their excessive praise. We should question why they're being so overly nice and not take their words too seriously. It's better to see through their flattery and understand their true intentions. Type of people to avoid number two, the stubborn. Another tough personality type Stoicism talks about is the stubborn person. These folks stick firmly to their own ideas and won't listen to others or change their minds. Their stubbornness makes them hard to work with. They always insist on doing things their own way, even when it's clear they might be wrong. They won't even consider other opinions or ideas, even if there's proof they're mistaken. This stubbornness stops them from growing and changing. They'd rather stick to their wrong idea than admit they're mistaken. Being more open-minded would mean considering other viewpoints instead of sticking stubbornly to their own. Their stubbornness also makes it hard for them to cooperate with others. Everything becomes a fight for control, and they won't budge from their own way of doing things. This can push people away. Stoicism teaches us it's not smart to be stubborn. While it's good to have principles, it's also important to be flexible and listen to others. Being stubborn only holds us back from learning and improving. We should aim for truth and growth, not just sticking to our own ideas because of our ego. Type of people to avoid number three, the manipulative. Another harmful type of person talked about in Stoicism is the manipulator. These folks trick and use others to benefit themselves. They're not trustworthy because they're always trying to get an advantage. They treat interactions like games, planning how to use people and twist situations to their advantage. They make false friendships to gain power and control outcomes. They seem nice on the outside, but it's just an act to hide their selfish goals. They only pretend to care about others if it helps them. Once someone isn't useful anymore, they're quickly dropped. This selfish behavior hurts relationships. While manipulators might win in the short term with their tricks, eventually, people see through their lies and don't want to be used anymore. Stoics know that being deceitful and using others never works out well. Treating people honestly and with respect, seeing them as equals, is the right way. Manipulation only causes problems and never leads to real cooperation. Type of people to avoid number four, the insensitive. These folks lack empathy and don't care much about how their words and actions affect others. They don't notice social cues or understand how others feel. They go ahead with what they want to do without thinking about how it might hurt someone. This can make people feel upset or angry but the insensitive person doesn't seem to notice or care about the damage they cause. They don't try to be more thoughtful or considerate in their behavior. Their harshness and lack of empathy push people away, making mean jokes, criticizing others harshly, or ignoring people's feelings makes others not want to be close to them. Stoicism teaches us to be more empathetic, compassionate, and caring. While we can't control how others act, we should try to be kind and considerate in our interactions. Being thoughtless causes problems and pushes people away. 
But being thoughtful helps us understand others better and build strong connections. As Marcus Aurelius said, sometimes wrongdoers don't even realize they're doing something wrong. Type of people to avoid number five, the cynical. Stoic philosophy talks about cynical people who doubt sincerity, idealism, and goodness. They see these qualities as naive or foolish. Cynics don't trust positive things and think people only act for selfish reasons. They mock virtues like honesty and kindness, thinking nobody truly follows them. Cynics are always doubtful and distrusting. They're like this because they've been disappointed before and want to protect themselves from feeling foolish or let down. But their constant skepticism drives people away and makes the good things they doubt become worse. Their sarcastic comments and quick mistrust push others away. Their mocking jokes and refusal to believe in good things harm relationships. Underneath their protective shell of doubt, cynics are sad that they've lost faith in goodness. Stoicism teaches us that even though there's bad in the world, we should still believe in our ability to be good. Cynicism is harmful. It stops us from making the world better. Even if we've been let down before, we should still be open to goodness and work together to make the world fairer and kinder. As Marcus Aurelius said, when you wake up, remind yourself that you might deal with difficult people, but that shouldn't stop you from being kind and hopeful. Type of people to avoid number six, the greedy. Stoics warn us about greedy people who are obsessed with money and possessions, their endless desire for more clouds, their judgment and character. Greedy folks always want more, no matter how much they already have. They'll do anything to get richer, even if it means hurting others. They think life is like a game where they win everything and others lose out. Greedy people don't like to share because they want it all for themselves. Their greed also makes them feel insecure. They're never satisfied with what they have. Stoics understand that greed comes from feeling like there's never enough. This makes greedy folks restless and unhappy. Stoics tell us not to be like them. It's better to be content with what we have and focus on things that truly matter, like being kind and peaceful. Greedy people have messed up priorities. They care more about money than being good people. Stoics warn us not to be like them or wish we had their wealth. Having more stuff doesn't make us happier. Real happiness comes from inside not from what we own. Type of people to avoid number seven, the angry. Stoics warn us about people who are always angry. These folks get mad easily over little things. They're quick to blame others and hold grudges for a long time. Stoics say anger comes from feeling like we're not getting what we deserve. This makes angry people resentful and wanna lash out. When they're angry, they can't think clearly or act wisely. They might say mean things or do stuff they regret later. Stoics tell us not to be like them. Even if we feel angry, we can choose how we react. It's better to stay calm and think before we act. Getting mad only makes things worse. We should use reason and self-control, not anger, to deal with problems. As Epictetus said, if someone can make you angry, they control you. Type of people to avoid number eight, the envious. Envy, like a festering wound on the soul, gnaws away at our sense of self-worth and contentment. Stoics caution us against the perils of envy, recognizing it as a manifestation of our own insecurities and inadequacies. When we envy others, we betray our lack of wisdom and inner peace, succumbing to the illusion that someone else's success or possessions diminish our own worth. But how do we recognize the insidious grip of envy in our own lives? Stoic wisdom offers us a mirror to reflect upon our innermost thoughts and desires. The envious individual, consumed by jealousy and resentment, seeks to tear down others in a futile attempt to elevate themselves. They view life as a zero-sum game, where someone else's gain must inevitably be their loss. Furthermore, Stoicism encourages us to examine the underlying causes of envy, digging beneath the surface to uncover the root of our discontent. Often, 
Envy stems from a deep-seated fear of inadequacy or a misplaced sense of entitlement. By confronting these inner demons with courage and introspection, we can begin to loosen the grip of envy on our hearts and minds. Yet, in the face of envy, Stoicism offers us a path forward, a path of virtue, wisdom, and self-improvement. Rather than succumbing to the green-eyed monster's grasp, we can choose to celebrate the successes of others and be inspired by their achievements. Stoics remind us that true fulfillment lies not in comparison or competition, but in the pursuit of excellence and virtue. Type of people to avoid number nine, the chronic complainer. Stoics tell us to avoid being chronic complainers. These are folks who are always negative, complaining about everything from the weather to their job. They find fault in almost everything and make small problems seem big. Instead of trying to fix things, they just whine and play the victim, wanting sympathy from others. Complainers don't realize that their constant complaining makes them and everyone around them unhappy. Stoics teach us not to be like them. Even though we might face difficulties, it's better to focus on what we can control and take positive action instead of wallowing in negativity. Hard times are part of life, but we can choose how we respond to them. Type of people to avoid number 10, the self-pitying. Self-pity, like a dense fog obscuring the path ahead, clouds our vision and distorts our perception of reality. Stoics caution us against the dangers of self-pity, recognizing it as a manifestation of our own inner turmoil and dissatisfaction. When we succumb to self-pity, we relinquish control over our own destiny, casting ourselves as helpless victims at the mercy of external forces. But how do we recognize the insidious tendrils of self-pity in our own lives? Stoic wisdom offers us a mirror to confront our own inner demons and acknowledge our role in shaping our reality. The self-pitying individual, shackled by their own sense of victimhood, blames others for their misfortunes and shirks responsibility for their own actions. They wallow in a sea of self-absorption, unable to see beyond their own suffering to empathize with the struggles of others. Stoicism encourages us to embrace a mindset of resilience and resourcefulness in the face of adversity. Rather than succumbing to self-pity, we can choose to confront life's challenges with courage and fortitude. Stoics remind us that while we may not have control over external circumstances, we always retain agency over our own thoughts, emotions, and actions. Yet, in the face of self-pity, Stoicism offers us a beacon of hope and empowerment. By cultivating a sense of gratitude for what we have and focusing on what we can control, we can transcend the limitations of self-pity and embrace a life of resilience and inner peace. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Type of people to avoid number 11, the arrogant. Stoicism warns us about arrogance, a toxic personality trait. Arrogant people think very highly of themselves and believe they're better than others. They don't see their own faults and think they're always right. They act as if they deserve special treatment because they're so great. This makes them talk down to others and not listen to advice or criticism. Arrogance leads to disrespect and unfriendliness towards those they see as beneath them. Arrogant people can't admit when they're wrong because they don't want to admit they have flaws. They don't like getting feedback or considering other people's feelings. Arrogant people struggle to make real connections because they want to be in charge all the time. Stoics advise against being arrogant. Instead, they say we should be humble and accept that we all make mistakes. True pride comes from being a good person, not from thinking we're better than everyone else type of people to avoid number 12? The selfish. Selfishness, like a dark cloud looming over the horizon, obscures our ability to empathize with others and blinds us to the interconnectedness of all beings. Stoics caution us against the dangers of selfishness, recognizing it as a betrayal of our inherent capacity for compassion 
and cooperation. When we prioritize our own needs and desires above all else, we sow the seeds of discord and isolation, alienating ourselves from the bonds of trust and mutual respect that sustain healthy relationships. But how do we recognize the insidious grip of selfishness in our own lives? Stoic wisdom offers us a mirror to confront our own inner motives and desires. The selfish individual, driven by a relentless pursuit of self-interest, sees the world as a zero-sum game, where someone else's gain must inevitably be their loss. They view relationships as transactional, seeking to extract maximum benefit for themselves without regard for the well-being of others. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate a mindset of empathy and altruism, transcending the narrow confines of self-interest to embrace the welfare of all sentient beings. Rather than seeking fulfillment through the accumulation of wealth or power, we can find true meaning and purpose in service to others. Stoics remind us that genuine happiness lies not in the pursuit of personal gain, but in the cultivation of virtuous relationships and a sense of shared humanity. In the face of selfishness, Stoicism offers us a path forward, a path of virtue, compassion, and communal harmony. By cultivating a spirit of generosity and empathy, we can break free from the shackles of selfishness and embrace a life of genuine fulfillment and interconnectedness. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Let us cultivate thoughts of kindness and compassion, and in doing so, pave the way for a brighter, more harmonious world. Type of people to avoid number 13, the reckless. Reckless people take big risks without thinking about the consequences. They put themselves and others in danger because they like living on the edge. Reckless folks enjoy doing things that are dangerous without thinking about the risks. They ignore warnings and don't take safety measures. It's like they believe they're exempt from the rules. This recklessness causes big problems later on. Reckless people create crises that could have been avoided if they were more careful. Their lack of control doesn't just affect them, but also anyone else involved in their bad choices. Even when their recklessness causes harm, they don't learn from it. They make excuses, avoid taking responsibility, and keep doing risky things without thinking. Stoics believe in living with courage, but that doesn't mean being reckless. True bravery means being bold, but also using your head to make good choices. Being reckless doesn't help anyone in the end. We have a duty to ourselves and others to be careful, face the consequences of our actions, and learn from our mistakes. As Seneca said, being rash is a dishonorable thing. Type of people to avoid number 14, the unprincipled. These folks don't have honesty or moral values. They'll do anything, even bad stuff, to get what they want. Unprincipled folks don't care about right or wrong. They're okay with lying, cheating, stealing, and hurting others to reach their goals. They believe the end result is more important than how they get there. They don't have a moral compass guiding them. They're fine with tricking people who trust them or using others for their own gain. This dishonest behavior always catches up with them. Once people find out about their lies and deceit, they lose trust and respect. They leave behind a trail of disappointment and harm caused by their bad actions. Any success they achieve doesn't mean much in the end. Stoicism teaches that real success comes from being virtuous and having noble goals. While worldly ambitions may change, having integrity lasts. We should be ready to lose everything material before giving up our inner values. In the end, unprincipled people have nothing valuable. As Marcus Aurelius said, a branch cut from a tree loses its connection to the whole tree. Type of people to avoid number 15, the vicious the last kind of harmful person, the vicious individual. These mean folks enjoy hurting others and being cruel. They see being kind as a weakness and feel happy when they make others suffer. 
They might bully people to feel powerful or hurt them emotionally without anyone noticing. Their aggression comes from deep inside, often from feeling insecure. Their harmful behavior ruins their relationships and the community around them. They make people afraid and unable to trust others. Their cruelty spreads like a sickness, making everyone around them unhappy. Stoicism teaches us that hurting others also hurts ourselves. We should fight against being cruel and instead help and care for others. When mean people have power, they're a big problem. Stoicism tells us to stop and stand up to those who enjoy causing pain. A good society doesn't allow cruelty. As Marcus Aurelius said, hurting others hurts yourself. If you've listened this far, thank you for sticking around. If any of these stoic lessons have made you think, feel free to start a conversation in the comments. I welcome stoic discussions, just like the great stoics, Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, advise. If you liked the video, don't forget to like it. And if you want more content like this, subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope you find peace and calmness through stoicism.